These beautiful woodlands are rich in history. During the Second World War, the RAF used this area and their maintenance unit was based here. From 1943 to 1944, an American Coastal Artillery Battalion was also stationed here. During this time, it has also been used as an Italian prisoner of war camp. After the Second World War, the site was used by American soldiers and then finally as a camp for ex-Polish servicemen. As well as rehousing ex-Polish servicemen, it was also a camp for Polish war refugees that were displaced from the Middle East and Africa. The Polish Hostel, or also known as the Polish Resettlement Camp, opened in 1948 and was closed in the early 1960s. This became a busy community with its own church and priest, its own school and its own halls and amateur and dramatics clubs and even had its own library, stocked with English and Polish books. The settlement now looks very different and has permission for light industrial use. So join me in this video and see what the buildings are used for today. One looks more like a storage sort of one because it hasn't got windows or chimney. These ones have got chimneys and windows. I will insert some photos of what these used to look like. It's got the windows, chimney. Here is the inside. Corrugated roof is looking very strange. that animal on the roof <laughs> freaked me out it's a beautiful evening as well look no I think this is what was the door it's strange to think that families would have lived in here There's an animal up there, can you hear? Oh, it's a pigeon. Oh my God, I actually nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> you yes. I don't think that pigeon liked me in his house. <laughs> I think, I don't know who made who, the more jump. Yeah, you're in. Right, there is another one here. This one's got a chimney on as well. God, more pigeons. <laughs> We're gonna have a heart attack before this is finished. Not really any features left. No, not this one. I think the further in we go to the woods, we... Oh my God, I can't cope with these pigeons. <laughs> right, we are 
we're going to try and find a church. There's a church near here. We haven't got a map. I know roughly where it is, but we just have to walk around and hope we can find it. really are in the middle of nowhere. I've had a cold so my voice sounds a bit funny. We're in the middle of nowhere. Off some furniture. Here's my mum, bless her, wandering through the woods. I would guess that this workshop hasn't been used since the 70s or 80s maybe I'm not sure I couldn't find anything that modern in here let me know in the comments what you think Aluminium oxide. Hair colors.
back out of here before it gets dark so that I can find my way to the car. in pool, whatever it was. Pellets. There's some really cool stuff in here. This is it from the outside. I actually don't think we got in that bit. Did we? I went in there and turned right left. Might have to look at that bit next time. Oh, I've been looking for this for ages. Right, so I found it. This is the chapel from the Polish War Settlement. As you can see, it's a Nissan hut, but it's got the... Um, it's been, it's a Nissan hut style, but it's been made into a chapel um, with the additional bits that they've added on the front. I will show you the back in a minute. Um, basically, this is farmer's land and the farmer just went past in his tractor and saw my car. So I think he knows I'm here, but just want to be a little bit careful because I'm not supposed to be here. So I will be a bit quiet. So these are the original windows, but the structure is really unusual because it is a um, simple Nissan hut, the brick and the corrugated roof. And then they have added on the front bit for the chapel, so it's their church, which I think is really cute. workshops now. Yeah, this is used for something. This particular building seemed quite uninteresting and I nearly actually took this bit out of the video. Um, it obviously is in use, it's all locked up. There's no way in and I wouldn't have wanted to go in because it's obvious that someone's actually using this for something. But on research for the voiceover that I'm doing, I actually discovered that this is the morgue. So this was the morgue um, and that they would keep the bodies in and ready for the funeral in the church, which is next door. I did actually find some photos of coffin, a coffin lined up ready for a funeral. I didn't actually want to put it in because I thought that was a bit disrespectful, but I will put the link to the website with more photos in the description if anyone's interested. Original sink. And toilet there.
so it's weird to think that this was a chapel and a hall at some point. You can see the panels on the ceiling look, that they've tried to make it look like a proper building. You can see the corrugated roof here and then they've you can see the corrugated roof and then they've put like panels inside and painted it to make it more like a proper building. Still got the light fixtures hanging. Oh god, I think I pooed my pants as a pigeon. You can see the light fixtures here. really chuffed we found that because I was looking for that for quite a while and um, every time I've been out here the light faded and I haven't found it um, and these woods are quite dense so it's quite hard to see through them um, so from the road it's quite hard to see you've proper got to trek through the woods to find it otherwise you just never see it um, so yeah, really pleased I found that, although I am on my own and I did hear somebody um, in the distance, so I decided to leave, but there wasn't that much in there anyway. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and um, please consider subscribing, it would mean a lot to me. Um, and leave a comment, a like and turn the notifications on. Um, hope you appreciate um, the content that I'm bringing you and also trekking through the woods on my own to find these things um, because it actually was a little bit scary but I did it so it's all good um, not particularly dressed for the occasion but here we are um, so please leave a thumbs up and a comment um, and I look forward to speaking to you soon bye Thank <laughs> you.